Born in Nigeria, it's easy to understand why Jeremiah Tauchu's first love was the country's most popular sport of soccer. He was four years old when his dad, a former exchange student at the University of Wisconsin, relocated the family from Nigeria to Washington, D.C. That's when Jeremiah would first be introduced to the American version of football. If you've ever had the chance to see Jeremiah play, it would be hard to believe that the Yellow Jackets sack leader was in the ninth grade before taking up the sport. High school, I wanted to play soccer. I went in, I walked into a room, I was trying to get a sports physical, and every, every sport was there. And then the freshman football coach was in the room at the time. And then he just looked at me and was like, hey, you want to try playing football? You're 6'1", 185. So, I, you know, I was like, okay, you know, I've thought about it before. So I was like, hey, let me just give it a try. And, I, you know, I couldn't even wear the pads the first time. I was horrible. So I just kept playing and I got better. Jeremiah's improvement, however, was not overnight. After my first year, I was so bad. And our soccer team was actually pretty good in, in the area. We had a bunch of Division I soccer players coming out of our school. So... I kind of wanted to go back after my freshman year, but it just wasn't in me to quit anything. And I always like to finish when I start. So I started playing football. I was like, hey, I'm not going to give this up. So my sophomore year, I kept getting better. I think about my junior year where my, where my new coach came in, you know, who was more like a college guy. You know, he's put a lot of guys in college, so he started developing me. That development sparked an impressive career at Georgia Tech that has gained the attention of several NFL teams. But before the May draft, Jeremiah enlisted the help of the IMG Academy to help prepare him for what's been called the toughest job interview in the world. I kind of had IMG in the back of my mind. I saw it as this place of prestige where you're not only training physically, but the mental aspects of my game, controlling my emotions, like, you know, breathing, you know, being able to, you know, in pressure situations, being able to react better, being able to, you know, condition my, my mind to be to those type of situations. You can tell a lot about a guy when they're faced with adversity. And Jeremiah's faced adversity. And what I like to see is when adversity strikes, how are you going to respond? He knows his source of strength. He knows his source of confidence. What would have devastated a lot of guys hasn't devastated Jeremiah. He's a guy who focuses on his heart. But one thing I noticed, he goes, when my heart right, my mind is right. When my heart is strong, I meant I can do anything. Jeremiah has never been overly challenged by physical training, but wanted to dedicate close attention to fine-tuning every aspect of his training, such as speed and movement. Just running, like how to, you know, how to run, you know, it's, it's so much more, how to be more efficient with your steps and things like that. I've, I always used to take a lot of unnecessary steps in college. I would still get there, but I could get there a little bit faster, you know, a little bit quicker. So they, they make you more efficient in your body movements and things like that. So, I mean, that's, I mean, all that stuff is just beneficial. And then they strengthen those little parts of your body that you don't really think about sometimes, but they make all the difference when it comes to injury prevention. And then there's the preparation for the tough and sometimes unusual line of questioning the draft prospects can face from all 32 NFL teams. That's where Nanalee Davis, head of leadership development at IMG Academy, comes in. You know, the NFL Combine is arguably one of the hardest job interviews in the world. Um, it, it's, it's pubbed as that, you know, it's, uh, so really going into this, these guys, um, you know, hide behind helmets. They get that pleasure of, of being able to put on their armor and nobody sees them. So really, for me, it's the pleasure of watching that armor come off. You know, been them understanding that, oh yeah, I don't have a helmet to hide behind. This is really who I am. And teaching them that vulnerability in this particular moment, being able to answer really, really difficult questions or really talk about the adversity that they've overcome or their journey is wonderful. There have been many people that Jeremiah credits for his development over the years. But the most influential person is not a trainer nor a coach. I'll say my dad, I mean, uh, he doesn't know, I don't tell him, I wouldn't tell him, but I'll say, I'll say my dad, you know, he, he's just a quiet, you know, humble guy, you know, goes to work, works really hard and doesn't really talk much about it. And that's kind of how I look, look at myself. Everything I do is just to work, no matter what I'm doing, just to work as hard as I possibly can. 